Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to start the next phase of the InMove robot project. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. Today we're going to start on a new part of the robot project. We're going to start building the head. This is my InMove robot arm. It's a 3D printed arm. Uh, runs by servos, powered by Arduino. It's capable of full control. Works pretty good. Pretty happy with the results. And uh, today we're going to start the next phase. So the past couple of weeks, I've been creating some parts on my Solidoodle 3D printer. This is how I do it. This may not be the best way. I print all the parts out in advance, label them for the area that they belong in, and then start the assembly process. As you can see, there's quite a few here. So we've got a ton of parts here. Oh, let's take a look at one set here, and I'll show you what I've been up to lately. In my previous mailbag video, uh, if you didn't see it, I'll post it here. I went ahead and got some parts for my 3D printer. I was always having some uh, banding problems and then I ended up with a, a clogged extruder that was basically clogged beyond repair. Uh, I can still fix it but it's going to take more time than it's worth. So I went ahead and got the new components. I kept on printing and I want to show you guys the results. This is just, I'm beyond thrilled. So these are more parts for the InMove head. There is almost zero indication of the layers. This, this is, I can go three times more resolution on this, but I don't need to. I'm just absolutely thrilled with the results. This rivals an injection molded piece. With this increase in resolution, I'm now able to make things like the lead screw that that moves the, the head and moves the jaw uh, very smooth. I printed this at 0.2 millimeter layer height without a macro lens. There's no way I can even show you the layering on this. It's crazy smooth. Really excited about that. And it also allows me to do a much better job on items like this. This is the gear that drives uh, one of the neck mechanisms. I think this is the head pivot left to right. I could be wrong on that because I haven't started building it. I'm, this uh, this uh, vertical lines here is actually part of the model, but the gears are just perfect. I couldn't ask for any better. Super excited. So I went from something that had layering like that to the one on the right. Guys, that's I'm just super tickled with the results. I can now really step up the quality and the strength of components. These ones are actually a little weak because you can see there's actually gaps. There's infill between, so it's still plenty strong, plenty good enough for a robot, but uh, it was never right. And I have finally got to the point where I'm happy. So what we're going to do in the upcoming videos, we're going to assemble this mess into something that looks like this. Thanks to Guy Al from France for creating the entire open source InMove robot project. Super excited about it. I don't think I will be building the entire robot. Uh, it's awfully tempting though once you start to see the results and see what we can do with it, but we'll uh, we'll sort of play it by ear. Well guys, I'm really glad you could join me today. Look forward to sharing the rest of this project with you in the upcoming months. Uh, if the, you find this stuff interesting, please consider a, a thumbs up down below. And uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and share the video if you find it appealing. Really glad you could be with me on this, guys. This community is truly special. Thanks for joining me today.